Celebrities are permanently in the public eye, and due to this, they usually do their best to try and walk the straight and narrow path. They are not always successful though, which means now and then we get treated to the spectacle of this and that celebrity being found guilty of something, hauled off to jail, and imprisoned. This video will focus on how celebrities who commit crimes and make it to prison are pampered and treated like the overly delicate, important, and sensitive beings that they are. Here in no particular order are the most pampered celebrity prisoners, with T.I. being somewhere down there. Lil Wayne the year 2010 was memorable for many things, one of which was Lil Wayne getting a one-year jail sentence after pleading guilty on weapon possession charges. The whole thing happened in July 2007, just after a spectacular New York concert when the cops stopped the tour bus he was on, found a gun, and booked him for criminal possession of a weapon. His sentencing was then delayed a month or so so he could get dental work done, which is the kind of privilege that is usually denied us common folk. Wheezy served time in Rikers Island, living it up in a classy area of the prison that ensured he didn't have to mix with the other prisoners. His prison crib even had an outside facing window and was able to cook pretty much what he wanted and watch all the TV he craved. Ultimately, serving eight months of his one year sentence, Lil Wayne went on to describe his time at Rikers Island as not that difficult, and we have a healthy suspicion that could be the understatement of the century. Stick around to the end of the video to see just how pampered rapper T.I. was at federal prison in Arkansas. Paris Hilton Violation of probation related to a 2006 DUI arrest resulted in this hotel heiress enjoying free room and board at the expense of the government. In June 2007, Paris made the trip to the Century Regional Detention Facility. A couple of days later, the LA County Sheriff, with an eye on an unspecified medical condition that Paris was said to suffer from, changed her sentencing to electronic monitoring and a 40-day home confinement. However, she was soon sent back to jail to serve out her initial sentence, with her apparent medical condition, meaning she was confined to solitary confinement in the medical wing. While in jail, Paris was never subjected to the demeaning cavity search inmates usually go through, and she was comforted by both her lawyer and psychiatrist coming to see her on the regular. Foxy Brown Foxy Brown has some serious street cred and also has released some mad hits. That was not enough to stop her nine month long trip to Rikers Island for parole violation after getting aggressive with a couple of manicurists in 2006. Prison didn't affect Foxy Brown's swag. While locked up, she was able to wear Gucci and Louis Vuitton sneakers with her prison jumpsuits, regularly getting new pairs of these expensive shoes whenever the ones she had on got dirty or scuffed. She was also allowed to use makeup, wear Fendi scarves, watch as much TV as she wanted, and call anyone she wanted when she wanted, with her meals being brought to her crib by the guards. Top it all off, while at Rikers, she was able to do an interview and photo shoot with Double XL Magazine, which was aimed at promoting her all new Black Roses album, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan had quite a career, until it came crashing down around her. She started out as a Ford model at just the age of three. However, she got her big break when she starred as twins Haley Parker and Annie James in the 1998's Parent Trap. She then went on to give us memorable movies such as 2003's Freaky Friday, 2004's Mean Girls, and 2005's Herbie, Fully Loaded. Just like Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan also violated her probation terms, and this resulted in a 90-day jail sentence, plus an order to check into rehab. Luckily for her, she only had to stay 14 days in jail, and this being attributed to overcrowding. As a celebrity, Lindsay of course got preferential treatment in jail, and this included regular access to her prescription medications and visits from people she knew outside the stated official visiting hours. That wasn't all. She was also permitted to have specific items delivered from outside, including food from a special store. Wowza, I'm gobsmacked. Felicity Huffman Desperate Housewives gave us Felicity Huffman and she was notable in the role of Lynette Scavo for being a mother of many who would do whatever it took to secure the happiness and comfort of her kids. Turned out that she's exactly like that in real life, and in early 2019, she was hauled off in handcuffs for her role in an unprecedented college cheating scandal that involved well-heeled folks like her paying people to take exams for their kids and lying to see that their children got accepted to the best Ivy League schools in the country. She eventually pled guilty to mail fraud charges and for that was sentenced to 14 days in jail and fined 30 grand. Felicity reported to prison on October 15th, 2019, and was able to stroll out to freedom on October 25th of the same month. She did her stand at a joint called Club Fed that made it to the Forbes 2009 list of the top 10 cushiest American prisons. Its real name is the Federal Correctional Institute, Dublin, and it's known for being a female-only and low-security prison with amenities like a volleyball court, computer classes, yoga classes, and loads more. Four days into her 10-day prison stint, Felicity was able to pull off a visit from her husband and daughter, a process that would normally take weeks 
four months. Reportedly, guards granted her privileges to cut ahead and be one of the first in line during mealtimes. O.J. Simpson after starring in what has often been described as the trial of the century and writing a tell-all book, O.J. did one better by engaging in a robbery of sports mementos along with a group of fellas. Quickly arrested and charged with the litany of crimes, he was found guilty of these and sentenced to 33 years in the slam, with parole eligibility kicking in about nine years later. O.J. did nine years before smelling the sweet air of freedom and while locked up, enjoyed heady preferential treatment. Reportedly, O.J. had a TV in a cell that he could watch all he liked, but hated the fact it didn't have HBO. He could play checkers and also gave the prison's food two thumbs up. Martha Stewart Ah, Snoop Dogg's good friend Martha Stewart. See, Martha first enjoyed billionaire status in 1999 when she took her company aptly named Martha Stewart Living on the Media public. Her empire was then interrupted quite heavily in the following five years and she was sent to jail. In 2004, the federal prison camp in Alderson, West Virginia played host to Martha Stewart. She did five months there after being found guilty of lying to federal investigators, engaging in conspiracy and agency proceeding obstruction. While in jail, Martha did her bit to keep the joint orderly by raking leaves and scrubbing floors. You could always find her at the nightly yoga classes and she also kept her mind engaged by knitting, painting ceramics, picking flowers, and making Christmas decorations. Today, her net worth is believed to be somewhere around $400 million, having sold Martha Stewart Living on New Media, a company which once valued over $2 billion, to Sequential Brands Group for just $350 million. Alexis Nears Alexis Nears, along with her sister Gabby Nears, were the main stars of Pretty Wild, a TV show that detailed their adventures and that of a friend on the Hollywood social media scene. The show ran for just one season and it didn't help that Alexis was discovered to be a member of a bling ring gang that went around looting celebrity homes. Soon arrested, she was sentenced to 180 days in jail at the Century Regional Detention Facility. The teenager, as befitting her fame, got some pampering. For one, she was spared the usually obligatory cavity search and rather than 180 days in the slammer, served just 30 with her last five days in jail in a cell next to Lindsay Lohan, Joe Francis. In April 2017, businessman and celebrity Joe Francis found himself in the care of a Floridian prison. His sentence was 35 days in jail, with contempt of court being listed as the crime. In jail, he was soon accused of stuff like bribery, possessing controlled substances, and smuggling contraband in. He had even allegedly offered to gift a guard $500 for bottled water, and his cell was discovered to have prescription drugs. These he was allowed to keep for the sake of his health, and according to him, the prison inmates treated him like a rock star. Plaxico Burris The New York Giants and the New York Jets at different times had Plaxico Burris on their payroll. While at a New York nightclub on the night of November 28, 2008, an alarmed Plaxico noticed his gun was sliding down his jeans and in trying to reach and adjust the firearm, inadvertently fired it, with a bullet lodging into his flesh. Hauled up on weapons and reckless endangerment charges, he entered a plea deal and got a two-year jail sentence. Arriving at Rikers to serve his time, he reportedly got treated to yells and taunts from the unimpressed inmates. The authorities opted to separate him from the general prison population and give him his own cell. He certainly got more a little bit of pampering there and was released early for keeping his nose clean and not ruffling feathers. T.I. We got to see true Clifford Joseph Harris Jr., alias T.I., in depth on his reality TV show T.I. and Tiny, The Family Hustle. T.I. and Tiny, The Family Hustle ran from 2011 to 2017. T.I. is a successful musician as well as entrepreneur. He's recorded successful albums that have sold in incredible numbers. Case in point is 2008's Paper Trail, which went on to sell 3.5 million records worldwide. Despite the success, T.I. also had been on the wrong side of the law in the past. The first of November 2010 saw rapper and actor T.I. being asked to stay 11 months in federal prison after being found guilty on parole violation charges. He did his time in Arkansas Federal Prison and had his fair share of preferential treatment. This was readily apparent whenever his wife visited, with the two once got having fun in a private room where the guards couldn't see what was going on. T.I. was also allowed enough phone and email privileges as it took him to make him happy. Click on the playlist to the left to binge watch more celebrity prison-related videos, including celebrities currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. We'll see you there.